hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about a simple remedy when it comes to acid reflux. A lot of people wake up in the morning and they have acid reflux, the sour, bitter taste, this burning sensation in their throat, in the esophagus, and in the chest area. This leads to headaches and migraines and just a bad start to your day. Now there are several reasons for acid reflux. We're not getting into that today. We've done enough of videos. One of them being that most people's acid reflux People think it's excess acid, but it's actually low stomach acid. So you can check out my videos on YouTube where we've covered low stomach acid, high stomach acid, and all of that stuff. But today, we're talking about this one simple remedy that you can try tonight itself. You can also use this remedy during the day. What you gotta do is take a tablespoon of coriander seeds. Okay, you try to get some chemical-free organic coriander seeds. And what you wanna do at night, just before you sleep, you boil them. You boil it in water and you reduce it to half. Okay, so if you want two glasses during the day, you'll probably take four glasses of water and you will boil the coriander seeds, one tablespoon, reduce it to half. Now let it cool overnight and let the seeds stay in the water after boiling it. Don't strain it. In the morning when you wake up, it would have cooled by then. Strain it and drink the water on an empty stomach. Now there are two things. Coriander seeds, this can help you with acid reflux. Of course, if you're allergic to it, just don't have it. Number two, it works as a very powerful diuretic. A diuretic pushes out excess water, which is you know, water retention that a lot of people have because of hormonal imbalances, sometimes side effect of medication. Sometimes when you're sleep deprived or you have erratic sleep timings, you can wake up with a puffy face. A lot of it is water retention. Coriander works, coriander seed water works as a natural diuretic. Now again, be careful. If you're a kidney patient, if you have low sodium levels, you wanna be careful of this because a diuretic can flush out excess sodium as well. So make an informed decision always. Now, how does this help you otherwise? Because coriander seeds are so good for your gut. It helps you to, it helps improve your digestive fluids, your enzymes. It is also great for IBS. For the longest time we've seen people who have IBS, IBS is irritable bowel syndrome, where your anxiety causes inflammation in the gut, which causes you to have the urge to wanna to pass emotion whenever you're anxious, you're fearful, you're worried, or you suddenly get some bad news and you sometimes have three, four, five, six loose motions in a day. This is IBS, these are the symptoms. There is no medicine to treat IBS. It is purely managing your stress levels, your response to stress, anxiety, and fear. But coriander seeds can give you a lot of relief. So you may want to try it. It works for some people, it doesn't. It's harmless unless you have an allergy towards it or it doesn't suit you. Remember, everything in nature, everything in life, it may suit you, it may not suit some people. Some of you may get fantastic results with this, some of you may not get it. But it doesn't make coriander seeds bad. It just means that we're unique bio-individuals. So what we need to understand is coriander seeds for acid reflux. Let's go over it again. If you have acid reflux, all you need to do is take a tablespoon of coriander seeds, boil it in water, reduce it to half, let it cool overnight, strain it in the morning. And you can have this in the morning for acid reflux. Like I said, there are many other things for acid reflux. Your poor lifestyle, sleep deprivation, we know chronic stress creates acidity and acid reflux. Sometimes you have underlying problems. You have an H. pylori, you've been overdoing it on antacids, you keep long gaps between your meals, you starve yourself, you eat too much of junk, too much of ultra-processed food. Like I said, there are many, many reasons. But the point is, if you have acid reflux in the morning, it's not the best thing to have. Remember, the more, more acid reflux you have, you're literally burning the esophageal tissue in your esophagus, and this leads to a whole load of other problems. So don't take it lightly, and at the same time, don't just cover it up with antacids. Every time you have acid reflux, you take an antacid, you feel good. While you take the antacid, you gotta address the root cause of the problem as well. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep. And remember, you care is all about you. I don't mean to scare you, but please understand, reflect on this. Acid reflux is not something normal. Living with acidity is not normal. Living with, uh, with constipation is not normal. Living with IBS is not normal. A lot of the world has normalized it and they throw you a drug, an antacid, a laxative, or whatever it is. But please understand, take it if you need it, but you have to address the root cause of the problem because this is the basis of sickness. Nine years ago, we showed commonalities between constipation and cancer. 
Not that constipation is your only cause of cancer. We showed the commonalities between acidity and cancer. Not that acidity alone is going to call you, cause your cancer. These are multifactorial diseases, but they are the fundamentals that are wrong in the human body. And they have every connection with the deadliest of diseases to a simple pimple that you may have on your face. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.